All right, sixth graders, today we are going to do some ruler practice. We're going to practice how to read a ruler and hopefully come to a better understanding of what all those lines and those fractions are on a ruler, all right? You will want your make an inch paper. So if you uh, don't have this out right now, pause the video, go grab this resource because this is going to be something that's going to help you as you are reading the ruler. All right, so pause the video and get your make an inch paper. Now that you've got your make an inch paper, we want to find on Schoology your ruler practice worksheets. All right, there are seven different worksheets that are part of this document that you're going to go through using a ruler. So you're going to first click on that assignment, the ruler practice worksheets. This is an assignment that has actually uh, run through Cami. So you're going to want to open the assignment with Cami. When you do open this assignment, it's going to look like this. Okay, the first page is just measuring using whole inches. And you see these yellow boxes over here on the right hand side. The quotation mark that's right here is our symbol for inches, so you don't have to worry about uh, labeling. All of these are labeled. You're just going to type in the measurement in that yellow box. So if I look at this first one, I can see this black line. I want to decide how, how long is this black bar. So on this ruler right here, it goes right to that one mark. We should know on a ruler that these big lines that have one, two, three, and four are whole inches. So we know that this is one whole inch. So I can just type in one inch. Okay, then I can go to the next one. This long black bar goes all the way to the six. So I know then that this is six inches and so on. All right, you're going to continue answering these, putting the answers in those yellow boxes. When I get down to, let's just take this one as an example. Okay, the second one on the second page here. This black bar goes past the one inch mark, goes past the two inch mark, but it does not get to the three inch mark. So I know that this measurement is two whole inches. But now it's not just two inches, there's actually part of another inch. And so we know a part of a whole is a fraction. So I also need to write a fraction. So this is where I'm going to use my make an inch sheet. So if I look at this, the black bar goes to the two. And if I count now the spaces past the two, I can help figure out the fraction. So if I start at this two, count the spaces past, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight spaces passed. I now can go to my make an inch sheet. I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This line that I get to is the big line in the middle that says one half. So I know that this black bar is two whole inches and half of another inch. So it's two and a half inches. Okay, that would be how you're going to use this make an inch paper to help you. Let's go do one more on the third page right here. Let's take this first one. Black bar goes to one, goes to two, but it does not get to three. So the whole inch measurement are two whole inches. And now we know we have part of another inch. So I want to figure out what that is. So if I start at the big line, the two, Count the spaces past. One, two, three, four spaces past. I go to my make an inch paper. One, two, three, four lines. Follow my finger up. That's one fourth. So I know that this measurement is two and one fourth inches. I'm going to go through all of these using my make an inch paper answering how long those black bars are. You're going to complete the first seven pages of this document. All of these where you've got this black bar right above the ruler. When you get to page number seven, you just have the black bar and there's no ruler. You don't have to worry about these. So only through where you have the yellow boxes. All right, once you are done with this document, on Cami, we've got this turn in button up here in the on the top corner. This is how you're going to turn your assignment in. So once you have all these yellow boxes filled in with the measurements, how far these black bars are, 
you are going to turn in the assignment. Then you are going to go to rulergame.net.net. This is where you can just kind of play this game to see uh, how good you are at measurement. All right, so we're either going to do the new inch ruler game, this first one, or this third one that says the original inch ruler game. You can try either of them out. So if I click on Let's Play, I can choose different things. I can go to settings. The settings allows me to have a timer on or off if I want to time myself, see how well I can do. Questions, whether I want to figure out whole inch marks, whether I want to use do measurements that are in halves, half of an inch, quarters, eighths, sixteenths. We're only working in class with holes, halves, quarters, eighths, and sixteenths. Okay, so you can choose any of those. Once you're ready, you just click play game, three eighths, where is three eighths? So I'm practicing this. I can use this three eighths. Looks like it's six lines over. So I'm just going to go here, one, two, three. I didn't do it fast enough. This is all about practice. Four inches, ooh, I know the four inch mark is here. I'm going to click my mouse. There we go. Three and three fourths. Where's three and three fourths? Well, I know that that's 12 sixteenths. So I can click right there. Again, you can see right now this is kind of stressing me out because the timer is on. Okay, if I choose to go back and do this again, let me just kind of get everything wrong. Now I can go back and I can just say, okay, I'm going to do this without the timer right away. And I want to go back to the settings, take the timer off, and do it this way. Once you get better at this and you've practiced more, it's helpful to have the timer on and see how well you can do. All right, so use this as a practice tool for how to figure out these measurements. I know now notice the timer's not going down. Two and three-fourths. So there's one. There's two inches. I know three-fourths is equal to 12 sixteenths. There's 12 sixteenths. I can click on it. I got that one right. Three and five eighths. There's three. Five eighths is 10 sixteenths. So I can count 10 spaces. There's three and five eighths right there. And that's using this make an inch paper to help me. All right. Ask your teacher if you have questions. And good luck practicing. The practice makes perfect. The more you practice, the easier measuring with a ruler becomes. All right, good luck students and let your teachers know if you have questions.